basically we're trying to create a, um, a system for the vehicle that would detect if there's a child or a animal like a big dog in the back seat and then would uh, like have a somewhat automated system that would protect that uh, child or dog from uh, overheating, like contracting heat stroke in the back of the car on a really hot day. If it's even just like 70 degrees outside, it can be like 20 degrees hotter in the vehicle than like the outside weather. And that's even with like overcast weather, it's just how it is. So um, it's really important that like, you know, if you left an animal in the vehicle that the animal can communicate with the vehicle by its just like mere presence to get the vehicle to like understand that the windows have to come down, like the air conditioning system has to come on, like maybe even like the security system could go off. Um, instead of relying on a human being to come back and protect that animal because, you know, people ignore their car alarms all the time. So we're looking at different ways we can incorporate the uh, data feeds from the uh, Ford vehicle and uh, APIs that are already available via the web to figure out you know, what temperature it is, where the car is, uh, what the likely temperature is going to be inside, um, if there's you know, people or pets inside the car, and then you know, to take action at that point. There was an article, I think, in the Washington Post a while back that was talking about how, um, like, there were a couple mothers and a few fathers who had like very tragically like forgotten their kids in the car and like these people are in no way villains like they're very loving like doting parents it's just sometimes people lose track of what's going on and obviously like hundreds of pets every single year are caught out in like Mesa Arizona or even as far north as like Canada it just depends on how hot the day is and to like prevent that kind of thing from happening is like paramount. The winner is Tempest Shore. Yeah.